Holding Wire Mod here. This is going to be tutorial 5b in the How to Build series where we'll be covering how to edit the price. So this is actually a pretty simple concept here. So let's start by getting a screen and we'll have it with the name price on it. And then we're going to grab two methods of changing the price. The simplest way is to get two buttons. However, you can use something like a uh, console screen for example, you can do that, or you can use EGP. However, we're going to stick with just buttons. So I'll say uh, left arrow and a right arrow, and the right arrow is going to add to the price, left arrow is going to subtract from the price. So using the same setup from last time, we have this. So we're going to need two inputs. The first one's going to be add and the other one will be subtract so then we're going to have one output and that's going to be the screen which is going to display to the customer that's going to be the price so instead of 200 we're going to put price here and price here then we're going to bring up if statements here first are duped to cover in tutorial 3 expression 2 series and here we're going to define our initial conditions for the shop that we want. So we'll say that this gun is by default going to be 200. Now if you want to edit that, we can say if add, then we will say that we want price to be price plus 25. Yeah, you can put price plus plus like this, but it's only going to increment by 1. We want to increment by 25 because otherwise it takes a while. So else if sub for subtract is going to be price equals price minus 25. So here once we wire everything up we're going to have the add right here for the right arrow, sub for the left arrow, and input for the screen is going to be price. Okay so now we press this arrow it increases this arrow it decreases. So let's see what happens when I try to buy a gun so I'll become gun dealer and let's get a shipment of sniper rifles I'll just slide that under there so we're now in stock alright so we'll say it's 200 for the price so I'll put down $200 and then get a gun so that works alright so let's increase it and see if this price change really does anything. So I put in 200 and now it doesn't work. So everything's working perfectly fine. So if I put in another 200 right here, then I press it, it'll work. And then I'll have 50 left over because the remainder is right here on the floor. All right, so that's price editing at its most basic form. Like I said, you can do it on a council screen or EGP or other methods of input or just use buttons as well, that's just fine too. Or you can use chat commands. But anyway, if you have any more questions on how to edit the price, feel free to let me know. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.